First of all, I'd like to thank our staff for the job that they did recruiting this past year. I think they did a great job of identifying student athletes and, and getting them onto our campus. Once they were on our campus, I think we had an outstanding job that was done again by our faculty as well as other staff members, advisors in different academic areas um, in sitting down and visiting with them and talking to them about the type of place that makes Michigan's tech so special. Also like to give a special shout out and thanks to uh, Dr. Steve Patchen who uh, was nice enough to come to every one of our recruiting weekends and, and lead a tour for the parents and, and help them again to try to find out exactly what it is that Michigan Tech can do for their young men as they go down the road and as they graduate from Michigan Tech. This year from a recruiting standpoint we were really looking at uh, bringing in uh, players just about at every position and again I think our staff did a great job of identifying players uh, that were out there that we were looking for and, and again bringing those guys in and we were looking to, to add depth as well as guys that will eventually be great players and, and starters for us here at Michigan Tech and I think we were able to do that with this recruiting class and we're very excited about our 2019 recruiting class and how that group will move forward here as, as members of our football program. Our National Letter of Intent signees by position are Offensive Line, Preston Graff, Dansville, Michigan, Bryce Neff, Gaylord, Michigan, Liam McDonough, West De Pere, Wisconsin, Alex Carlson, Maple Grove, Minnesota, and Hunter Chambers from Lake Orion, Michigan. At tailback, we added Jacob Honstetter from Clarkston, Michigan. At tight end, we have Jordan Dent from Lowell, Michigan, Tucker Taylor from Gwynn, Michigan, Theo Campula from Nagani, Michigan, Mark Veslage from Bishop Diego High School in California, and Gunnar Gavales from Plainwell, Michigan. At wide receiver, we have Brandon McCulloch from, from Macomb, Michigan, Ethan Martish from Marquette, Michigan, Mitchell Stanchina from Northfield, Minnesota, Hunter Smith from Ishpeming, Michigan, Darius Willis from Warren, Michigan, and Trevor Johns from Manistee, Michigan. At quarterback, we recruited Alex Fries from Swan Valley, Michigan. At fullback, we have Sam Gillies from Westwood High School in Michigan. At H-back, we have Luke Terrian from Kingsford High School in Michigan. On the defensive side of the ball, the defensive line, we have Alex Knute from Marquette, Michigan. We have Rory Garner from Swan Valley High School in Michigan. We have Josh Cribben from Notre Dame High School in Wisconsin. Noah Van Berkel from Canton, Michigan, Ian Souza from Kingsley, Michigan, and Austin Schick from Oxford, Michigan. At linebacker this year, we added Travis Ojla from Calumet, Michigan, Dante Cardinale from Salt Lake, Texas, and Mitch Choza from Notre Dame High School in Wisconsin. Our defensive backs that we've added to this year's class are Robert Franklin from Frankfort, Illinois, Jared Terrence from Westland, Michigan, Nick Kaufman from White House, in Ohio, Nate Beckman from Westwood, Michigan, and Nate Farm from Iron Hills in Minnesota, as, long, as well as Jahari Wee from Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. A specialist we added this year, a kicker from Dollar Bay, Michigan, is Brendan LeClaire. I'd like to quickly mention some players that we recruited from the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Theo Campula from Nagani, Nate Beckman from Westwood High School, Ethan Martish from Marquette, Hunter Smith from Ishpeming, Travis Ojula from Calumet, Alex Knute from Marquette, Michigan, Brendan LeClaire from Dollar Bay, Sam Gillies from Westwood High School, Luke Terrian from Kingsford, and Tucker Taylor from Gwynn. As we head towards the 2019 football season here at Tech, we have a large group of players that are returning with us, and we've added to that class now with this recruiting crew. In addition to our players that signed NLIs, we are bringing in a nice group of preferred walk-ons that will have the ability to make this football team much better. Currently, our team is working hard this offseason, and we're preparing for the spring, as is our coaching staff. We look forward to building the depth at all positions, and that is critical in this football league. The past two seasons, we were hit hard by injuries and depth at all positions. We have to get better, and we have to get better throughout the spring, the summer, and the fall. It's also critical that all of our returning players are pushed to be at the top of their game as they head throughout you know, the, the, the summer and the fall and that they're ready to come in fast when we start the, the 2019 season. This past season we finished four and six and we were aware of a fine line that separates the teams in our league. This football team this past year could have easily been seven and three. Um, so what we need to do is we need to develop great work ethic, great leadership, and as we head into the 2019 season, 
confidence as we get ready to roll for the year.